what's precious welcome back to my channel this video is super impromptu and like super urgent so i'm gonna go ahead and film it now because i need to use these two items now <laughs> and here we are hey guys if you are new here my name is precious welcome to my channel i have a direct-to-film printer i print direct-to-film transfers in my spare bedroom I have a DTF 12H2 that I purchased from Coldesi. I've been documenting my journey. It's kind of sad that I don't have one of these items already, but I'm getting ready to open it up and we're gonna set it up if I have space on this camera. And um, speaking of which, I've been trying to upload a YouTube video for the last 48 hours and it's pissing me off, okay? So um, yeah, that definitely set me behind on a lot of work that I have to do. That's okay, let's go ahead and open up these boxes and I'm gonna show you what I got. All right, all right, so this first purchase, oh my God, my glasses girlies. Like how do we get this ring light out of our glasses? Oh, maybe I have to sit up higher. Okay, cool. So let's open up this first box. This order is from Amazon. And I did a lot of research. Well, I didn't do a lot of research. I just watched some, you know, Amazon review videos. And um, yeah, that's what I did. Mm, forget it. Look. OMG. You know what this is. It's an extractor system. It's an inline extractor, so I won't be blowing any air out the window anymore. I know. Y'all be getting on me like, oh my God, all that smoke, all the chemicals. And I'm like, trust me. I just didn't have any time to do any research. Um, I started this business and it just took off and I'm happy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing set up and hopefully I can take a clip from this video and hopefully I can upload this, but oh child, look at this bad boy. Look at this baby. This is a fume extractor and it is from, let me take the plastic off, very, very, very very wrapped very well this is a fume extractor from fume clear <laughs> yeah and it, it's kind of heavy but what it does it eliminates smoke it eliminates bacteria hello eliminates pm 2.5 i'm pretty sure that's not good i don't know what it is but we don't want it um air purification eliminate dust who child need that eliminate odors and eliminate harmful gases so y'all can stay out my comments and leave me alone. I made it, but I'm no longer gonna let those harmful chemicals into my home. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything all set up. And it came with a user manual. We love that for me. And it's like so padded, like I'm gonna keep all of these little padding. Even the user manual is wrapped up in plastic, which I love. So like with Amazon, you know, people love returning things and they be reshipping it out and all kind of stuff. So um, I love that. So even if you wanted to return it, everything is in plastic, put it back. Or don't even open the plastic. You can read through the plastic, you know? Okay, we're gonna set that up in a little bit. I'm gonna set that up onto my, um, onto my heater. But this one is something you guys have never even seen before, okay? This is something so special and I haven't even opened it yet. I've had it for like two and a half days. Um, but I've been waiting to open it on camera because who shall see it's all fragile and stuff. I don't even want to cut it with my box cutter. I'm gonna just do it nice and lightly, nice and light. And go away. Somebody's at my door. This is too important right now. I can tell with the delicate knot that it's not important. I know how they do it. That's that. Well. May I come in? You know? <laughs> Not right now, baby. All right, so. Ready? You ready? Someone made this for me with a laser um, cutter. I met them on TikTok. Ah, look at all this bubble wrap. So fragile. I just don't want it. I'm just so excited. It looks like it's maybe like acrylic, plastic. Um. the um, bubble wrapping. Okay, we're back on a roll. Ooh, getting closer, getting closer. All right, this one has tape, so I'm gonna cut this tape off only. I love this wrapping, by the way. 
Hayden, that's his name. I met him on TikTok. How cool is that? You know, like I've met so many people on TikTok. This kind of gives me a feel of a, um, what is it called? A paper towel roller, right? So just a thought. But look, it's like plastic. Can anybody guess what this is going to be used for? I'll hold it like this. I'm gonna show you. So um, we were, I was on live, right? And I was printing, I was on live printing like how I do. And he was on my live, watching my live, like one of my viewers. And he said, hey, I have something that would help you hold like the powder down in your powder shaker. You know, like when you have your paper running through the, um, through the powder shaker, you know, you have to keep coming back and adding powder. And he saw me like, pulling out the drawer and re-adding it and re-adding it. And I was like, okay, send me a DM, you know, let me know. And after my live, I went back and read it and he sent me pictures and it's like a little device, right? So cool. Like this, that goes downward, like, you know, that into the bottom of my powder shaker, which will prevent the paper from like bouncing up so much so the powder isn't falling off so I don't have to keep changing the powder over and over. So I can leave my printer alone in my um, heater for just a little while, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, that, or I don't have to like keep getting up to check it. How great is that? I definitely get my workouts in. But yeah, it's a lot, a lot of cardio. <laughs> um, so I'm so excited to do that. I'm gonna set it up right now and I have an ass of orders to print in the best way, thank you, Lord. So yeah, I have a lot of work to do. So I wanna go ahead and get that set up now. I need as much time as possible on my computer coming back and forth. But once I get my heat generated like I need it in my heater and my transfers are coming out perfectly, this should be a piece of cake. Also with my cute new extractor, my heat should be like pulling perfectly in and into that extractor. I can keep my window closed or just open it because I want to, you know? So I'm super excited about this. Hayden, thank you. Hayden is from, let me find my phone. And look, I already know that this is going to be a lifesaver for me. Since I know it's going to be a lifesaver for me, I'm gonna go ahead and shout out Hayden's information right now. Because just like from the pictures, yeah, this is exactly what I need. Like, patent this idea, you know? put me in on the deal. His business name is 318 Laser and Screen Printing. So he has a screen printing company as well. He has a laser engraver, so clearly he can make shit look like what the heck and possibly anything you need or want because like who even thinks of that, right? So definitely hit him up for your laser engraving or laser building, laser creation needs. Um, maybe have like a consultation and more than likely he can hook you up. But your girl is about to go ahead and set this up and I got work to do. All right, here it is. So there's no instructions of course because you know we're just trying this out right I love how he made it you could see like even the groove here it's a little higher so I'm guessing and assuming the the paper I'm sure he would answer my call if I if I asked like a guide but I'm sure the paper will go here and it'll hold on to that yes so you see that there's a little groove there and I'm sure the paper goes under there and this part sits completely flat against the walls of inside of my heater. That one you can see better. See this little groove, it sticks out. So I'm gonna pull my paper from the end like I always do and then I'm gonna hold it underneath this thing. Okay, I'm gonna get that set up. You know what, I'm just gonna take this off because honey, I'm done with this little in the extractor I got from um, Alibaba, AliExpress or something, I don't know. You know, you meet up so many people doing the same thing you do, you know what I'm saying? And you still inspire each other, which is so fun. And then you help each other, which is also so awesome, you know? You need people like that. She's starting out. We're all just growing together and learning together. And then honestly, like with the company, like where I got this printer from, they are learning together. You know, it was a new thing. You're used to the big giant printers and then in comes this little small baby that is supposed to be as powerful as the big one, you know? So we're just in this together. It sits on top of the paper there and sit 
sheets on top of the paper. There, you see, you get it, you get it. So therefore when it's in there and it's shaking and such, and then the powder shaker on the back of this is like knocking it, it's going to hold it down because I mean, I can just keep it low. I don't have to put it on like 20, I can keep it like 10 or five for this and it's gonna be perfect. I'm going to use this right now. Thank you so much for this question. This is a good one. And I think this is a lot of people's question. So this acrylic piece is a powder holder and it's also a paper holder. At the start of a printing job, you just go ahead and lay the acrylic piece over the paper. Having the shaker on definitely helps because it kind of like knocks the paper holder in place. And when it is off track, I just go ahead and just balance it back out and I'll keep the shaker on. In about three to five seconds, the paper will grasp on to that little lip that's hanging off of the paper holder. At this point, while the shaker is going, I just watch just to make sure that my paper holder is staying in place. Once the paper holder is steady and balanced, then I go ahead and add my DTF powder right over the top of that pole, all the way over it. You can fill it up as much as you want normally start with about a quarter of a bag because you don't want to make it too heavy to where the paper can't scroll smoothly. But as you can see, I actually went in on that powder. I put a lot on it. And honestly, you can leave it for about 20 to 40 minutes nonstop. And that powder just keeps going and holding and covering your designs. Like, it's amazing. And here, I'm going to just go ahead and speed it up a bit just so you can see the paper holder in action. You see it holds the powder in place and the design is actually underneath the powder and it's actually underneath the pole in between the holder. So there you have it. You have a paper holder and a powder holder all at the same time. It literally just holds the powder in place and you can leave this shaker going for a good 40 minutes and the powder will still be there. Without the holder by now, you would need to add powder. But let's say you do need to add powder. You totally can. Just turn on the powder and it'll just fall right down and fill up that same section. I also keep my shaker on 55, so it's going pretty fast, running out of ink here, and then I'm still adding designs and still going. So here I just did three gang sheets and the powder is still sitting. Look at those edges, they came out perfectly. And that's the goal, that shiny orange peel texture. I literally never have to put my transfers back in to have the edges heat up. This is what you want because it literally holds the paper in place and flat. So you never have to heat up those edges. So I'm gonna cover it up and walk away. If you own the DTF 12H2, you definitely want to get one of these. I've been able to get so much mommy work done, so many chores, so much admin work done while my printer is just going in the background. I am obsessed, obsessed with this thing, okay? Thank me later. Thank you so much, Hayden. I super, super appreciate it. You're great. I'm sending everybody your way. 318 Laser, reach out to Hayden. He is the best, okay? The best. The best just for even thinking of this and then also thinking of me. That was super sweet. A lot of times you find people in, um, I'm gonna just say your same industry, right? Like uh, there's other direct to film printers and people come on my live and they're like, oh my God, I like how you just share stuff. But honestly, we're all here to help each other. Like, what do I gain from gatekeeping? Like it is what it is, we're learning. At the end of the day, I'm me. Nobody else has my personality. People want to buy, if I learn anything from starting this business, I learned that there could be a thousand t-shirt makers. There can be a thousand chefs. There's a thousand restaurants. There's a thousand chains of the same restaurant. It doesn't matter, but you would visit one Starbucks over another Starbucks, right? Why? Because you prefer the service, you prefer how they make your meal, you prefer how they make your coffee, right? So with that being said, there's only one me. I'm not worried about anybody taking my business away or anything like that. And if people stop with that mindset of like, oh, I'm not gonna do, 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 do. Like, no, I told people like, hey, I had something coming and I'm not gonna show y'all what it is because I have to test it out and all that. And then I also want Hayden to get his coins off of people that want to buy the same thing or even whatever. So it's literally New Year's Eve and I'm getting ready to, I'm getting ready to share my ROI, my return on investment. Like how much money have I made or have I hit my return on investment? Started my business on April 1st. Wait, 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 let's rewind this. If you are new here, my name is Precious and I recently started my own direct to film 
printing business from home. I work a nine to five. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. I do all the things mommy. I don't have a nanny. My kids don't go to daycare. And right now we're on Christmas break, okay? So it is New Year's Eve and I figure I want to get this video out, at least record it, before the new year. So let's do that. The new year, I want to go ahead and be more, you know, consistent, consi consistent, consistent. So today I'm going to go ahead and share my return on investment. I don't know if I'm going to share the amount just yet. I'll think about that in the process of me uploading this video. I have my MacBook right here. Ask me why, but I'm nervous, okay? Sitting here writing down everything that I spent from February until like now, December 31st. Um, and these numbers are just going crazy, okay? I'm not scared because I know it's what, December 31st? So let's just say December, okay? Boom. April. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Eight months, okay? In eight months, um, did I hit my return on investment? Did I make my money back? Did, is this business, I'm not even going to say a success, but did I do what I feel like I did because I feel like I did it, you know? Um, and I'm proud of myself already, whether I hit this number or not. But if you don't know, I have not looked at how much Mom! I made maybe in the last four months um like total from the beginning i'm getting ready to log into my website and i'm going into my admin settings in my shopify store in my analytics as we speak and i'm going to find out if if we did this i'm so freaking scared right now um my husband just had surgery um so i'm just at home chilling in bed and i'm like let me get this video out before we pop some more champagne you know <laughs> so let's see here i'm so scared i so wanted my husband to be in here with me because if you remember last time i did that 90 day video and i showed him first I, i'm always so scared i just want to it's like a pregnancy test i don't know weird um but yeah let's see so i'm in my analytics let me show y'all and then i also i forgot i didn't put down how much i made on etsy and on tiktok shop and before they cancel my store tiktok shop both and let's see look at me trying to add in like every little penny i can i'm scared now because the amount came out soon let's do it before tiktok shop and etsy no i'm gonna add that in yeah i'm gonna add in what i made there in there so let's see give me one second let's pull up my etsy store i can actually do for my phone let me find my phone all right i'm gonna log into my etsy seller app and i have a new order 426 dollars 426.25 and that is with 426.25 i'm writing that now 426.25 i might as well do my taxes right um and that's with 16 sales so that's pretty cool for 16 sales on etsy now let's go to my tiktok shop so tiktok shop was a little hard to find but i was able to see that i had eight orders on tiktok and i sold my sweatshirts for 25 dollars a piece so <laughs> back up baby i have my baby over here with his beats on so we can't hear his little blippy videos all right so um <clears throat> so that's 200 dollars. we're just going to estimate it there so that's 200 on tiktok because it's so hard to sell or even go viral or anything on tiktok okay y'all too much so 200 um and then tiktok closed my shop for a while and then i had to dispute it and they couldn't tell me why so it was just a whole lot of drama and i thought about not even opening it opening it back up and i just did like last month and i did get another sale so that was cool so 200 dollars on tiktok shop and 426 dollars and 25 cents so let's put 6 26 25 i made on those channels okay and i didn't start etsy or tiktok shop like when i first started my business on april 1st when i first launched my business on april 1st okay um i started planning my business around february okay i started the new year like yeah we're gonna make this happen oh i, I just want to tell y'all the beginning like what made me start like the details and all of that stuff but 2023 i asked for it and 2023 has served so with that being said i'm just so happy and so grateful and 2023 has been a dream and i'm looking forward to my son's car and i'm looking forward 
to 2024 and what it has to bring. Um, super excited. I'm super proud of myself. I've come out of my shell so much. I don't care what anybody thinks. And I feel like that's the main thing. Once you start loving yourself, you will stop giving a damn about what anybody else thinks and you will prosper and grow and flourish and all of that stuff. I have my number here on what I spent and I'm gonna show y'all just so y'all can see. It's a lot of scribble scrabble. I jotted down all my numbers, all of my orders, and all of the um, supplies I purchased and the dates. And this is how much I spent total. That's with the printer and the supplies all together. Okay. This is about to be a complete and raw reaction. Okay. Let's go to analytics reports I'm freaking out like my heart is beating out of my chest right now all right analytics total sales um, we just put 2000 January 1st 2023 to even though I didn't have my first sale until after April because that's when I launched my business on April 1st and we're gonna put December 31st here. December. Oh my god, I can't even breathe. Kind of. Alright, 31st versus. Come on, chill. Apply. I'm scared to look. Why do I feel like I'm about to cry? Okay. Okay, it didn't pop up yet. Oh shit, it's about to say total sale. Okay, hold on. I'll help you. Okay, so we're gonna try this all over again. Like, oh my god, I almost had a panic attack. <laughs> all right, let me help my baby with his car. And then let's try this. All right, so just so y'all know, I ain't flexing, okay? This is the real life Shopify store. Ain't she precious print? You see that? And this was the last. 30 days um see December blah blah blah, blah 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 see all those December dates and this is how much I made in the last 30 days okay December has been a good month but I just remember being so excited I'm gonna tell y'all about growth okay so, all right let me show you how God works it's just that I remember making or I remember shooting that video for my first 90 days three months um, and making $5,000 and being so excited. So many people reach out to me being in shock myself With that being said, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better now about checking this number Because that was just in the month of December, which was a busy month. So not all months were always busy, but okay I'm procrastinating. Let's just see total sales not last 30 days. We're just gonna do last 12 months all right, I have it set to January 1st to December. I don't know if I'm gonna show all this yet. I'd rather you see my reaction. Not always about a number, but I know I do have a lot of followers that specifically follow me because they're wanting to start their own direct-to-film printing, um, their own direct-to-film printing business. And I wanna be completely transparent, well, as much as I can, and as much as, you know, myself and my family will agree upon also, of course. Um, and I don't know. This is just the beginning. I feel like I won't show my balance anymore from here because this is the beginning. But I also want to show like how real it is. Um, the first 90 days making $5,000 meant so, so much to me. And then looking at this month of December and making that same $5,000 is just like, it's beautiful. It's a blessing. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and do those last 12 months. And here's my heart beating out of my chest again. I need a drink. All right, no, I don't. Go ahead. I did it. I did it. I'm so excited. Um, 
I did it. I did it. Ah, you did it, precious. You did it. You did it, girl. Oh my god. Um, I don't know if it's clear, but I definitely, um, <laughs> definitely reached my return on investment or met my return on investment or made my return on investment um from purchasing this printer um i've reached out well i've i don't even know what to say i've met so many people like on social media like different suppliers and so many people that want to work with me um since starting this journey and ripping the band-aid off and just putting myself out there and being my pure self um as much as i can you know um with that being said i am super proud of myself precious i love you i'm gonna look right here at my camera precious i love you i love you precious i love you precious i love you precious you did it you did it like you said you would um my husband is on the couch but i'm gonna go show him in a second it's crazy because i haven't added in sorry y'all i'm just so choked up it's crazy. It's crazy because I haven't even added in the amount of money that I made from Etsy and all that, even though it wasn't much. But um, I'm just so proud of myself and I'm super excited for my future. I appreciate all of the kind words, all of the feedback, everything I get in the comments, um, the people that say I inspire them and DMs and all of that. The sky is the limit. I'm looking forward to next year. I see another printer in my future, in our future, because we're on this road together, right? I hit my return on investment um and they say it takes about 18 months to reach your um roi or to hit your roi and i did it by myself i didn't get anything for free i just see 2024 being i see 2024 being one for the books ain't she precious prince is taken off i started this business as ain't she precious and i see so many different like channels coming out of ain't she precious like ain't she precious this ain't she precious that ain't she precious this super excited for my future i cannot stop looking at this number and i want to go show it to my husband because i am in like disbelief that i want to go back to see what month i actually your daddy need medicine um i just finished filming my roi video do you want to see i have to do it like you know last time because we did it Oh, you got I'll record myself then. Just you look at it. Mm. All right. So this is what I spent. I did all the math, all the blanks, all of the shirts, DTF powder, everything, all the dates. I did it from April first until. And look, you did I hit it? Of course. Of course. Yeah. Good job. Thank you, babe. How long was that? That's what? So that's tight. That's tight, ain't it? You proud of me? And freaking, um, that's crazy. eight months. That's crazy, right? I believed in me. You know that? You believed in me. You happy? You want to cry? I do. I got misty. But anyways, um, that's it. Happy New Year. Kiss me. Oh, sorry. Only eight months after starting a direct-to-film printing business from home without any customers, I met my return on investment. Believe in yourself. Nobody else is going to do it for you. No one else would do it for you, and no one else would do it like you. I made over, as you can see, over $22,000. I paid off that printer and it I didn't buy it like in installments or anything like that I bought it outright out of my savings okay I trusted my gut and that's all you have to do like nine to five precious those days are over <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it real it's just oh my god working from home for the last nine years working for a company because I was able to work for home, from home and um, be here with my kids and stuff. But honestly, I wasn't my best version of myself. I remember, oh my God, be quiet. I'm, I have a call or, you know, it's just like a total different vibe. Like they can run around, make as much noise as they want. They can watch their little videos. We go outside, we play games, we go ride bikes, we go for walks. You know, my schedule is mine. Like, of course, some days are busier than others, but some days aren't. With that being said, 
shout out to you guys also who support me all of the con words i appreciate all of it i promise you i appreciate all of it on tiktok to youtube to instagram like i just can't believe myself <laughs> if i should say so myself um yeah i'm looking forward to 2024 i think you're gonna see a different side of me you're gonna get more videos a whole lot more product reviews in 2024 for sure but yeah your girl's getting pr and definitely some new machinery it's more vlogs more life vlogs but more of like my life of vlogs not my kids and my husband and all of that i definitely want to keep that life personal just more of precious if you're excited about that let me know if you have your own small business or if you started a small business back in the day i don't know anything i want to know how long it took for you to reach your return on investment and i actually want to know what the business was so yeah let's make this a conversation i'm just curious i don't want it to come off that i'm bragging or anything like that i feel like eight months is a long time to me i felt like i was going to reach it in six months but i didn't even go back and look at the map maybe i did but I'm not doing all that. I hope and pray that everybody who has ever watched my video, who has ever tapped a liked on my video in each and every last one of my subscribers, I wish you nothing but blessings and abundance of success and growth in your business, whatever it is. I pray that for you in 2024. Thank you guys so much for watching and following my journey. The sky is the limit. Good night. Let me get a glass of champagne. <laughs>